Hello Cancers, welcome to Visions of Light Love. This is your reading for the fourth week in July. This reading is for all of the Cancers out there, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the fourth week in July. If you are returning, you are welcome back. If this is your first time stopping by, welcome to Visions of Light and Love. If the reading resonates with your situation, check out your Moon Venus. If it does not resonate with your situation, I'm sorry. Check out your Moon Venus and Rising Sign videos. Cross watchers are welcome as well. If you like my energy, my vibe, you feel like I am the reader for you, you connect with this reading. And you would like to show some support, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, as well as a thumbs up image to help the video circulate. If you need a private reading, the link to the email is in the description box. I am taking personal private emails at this time. I mean, readings at this time. I don't know why I can't talk today. But anywho, I have one more slot open for a free reading for the month of July. This will be the last day to um, be considered. So if you would like to be considered, you must be a subscriber, like this video, comment below, leave your email address, and if you are the chosen winner, you will be receiving an email from me. So with that being said, Cancers, I am going to start your reading. <clears throat> we have the Strength card. Some of you may be dealing with a Leo or have Leo in your chart or be on <coughs> Cancer Leo cusp. The Four of Pentacles, Six of Swords, the Three of Wands, Ace of Swords, Ace of Pentacles. Okay. The moon. This is your energy along with Pisces. Seven of Swords. And the balance. Libra's energy is here. At the bottom of the deck, you have Wise Counselor. So I'm seeing at this time, Cancers, you may be getting advice from someone. Getting advice from someone. Could be watching tarot videos, of course, if you are um, on this channel or if you are watching this video at this time. You are seeking out help. You may be trying to tame yourself at this time. With this strength card. You, or you may be seeking out advice pertaining to if you should for, forgive someone that you have been holding back from. You may need to forgive someone that you have been holding back from. It could be a Leo. With this Six of Swords, yeah, you may be um, wanting to forgive this person so that you can move towards peace and harmony. Putting an end to a sad time. Regarding a family situation. And you just want to move towards peace. However, with the three of wands, you may be waiting for the right opportunity to overcome these obstacles in order for this new beginning to come in. Like right now may not be the right time to do this. But I do see a new beginning here. Some of you are um, embarking on a new beginning in a career. Could be purchasing a new home, a new vehicle. But I'm seeing you on a new path in this union. Or you, your desire is this new path in this union. That's your desire. And with this moon card, 
you may be um, paying close attention to your intuition at this time. Because although you may want to revisit this union with this person, spirit may be saying you need to walk away from people, places, and things that no longer serve you or this, or before you um, have this new beginning in this union, your person needs to walk away from peace, people, places, and things that no longer serve them. This um, waiting period may require you to have, definitely will require you to have patience, be open-minded so that you can maintain your balance. So that you can maintain your balance. You could be done with the Libra or have Libra in your chart. So let's see what else is going on with the sign of Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What is going on? With my cancer, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Cancer, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Okay. All right, let's see. Why is the strength card here? It's a strength card here. Okay, we have the Queen of Cups. So, I feel like with the Queen of Cups coming out, you love this person. You have lots of emotion for this person that you're holding back from. But this person could be juggling. Could be juggling. With that six of pentacles. But you definitely have love for them. But you're not taking action at this time. Because they wounded you in some kind of way. This person left you wounded. Left you feeling alone. And now with the Hierophant Taurus energy. You are um, getting advice from others. And waiting for clarity. You're waiting for clarity. Because you are... Um, waiting for the right time to revisit this conversation have this conversation and to um waiting to overcome these obstacles because with this three of swords this person broke your heart this person broke your heart and you want stability in your union you want stability you want to plant new seeds and watch them grow. And that's what this waiting time is for. Yeah. Before you come back together with this person. You're not just going to, you know, just overcome these obstacles. <clears throat> because there was some type of tower moment. There's the tower card here. I'm seeing someone could have made like said something Scorpio um, Aries energy is here this person could have said something being immature and it left you feeling like you had to walk on pins and needles like you had to tiptoe around them because whatever they said was harsh And with the nine of the knight of pentacles, you're gonna make them wait. Mm -hmm. Yeah, some of you are definitely dealing with the Leo with their strength card coming out again. You're gonna make them wait. It's requiring you all of your strength and courage not to just go back to this person. I feel like that's what you've been doing in the past, and you're no longer doing that. You're making a decision with the two of so you're using your strength and courage to block them and with this lover's card you, like i said you love this person but you're going to you're deciding to make them wait that's what your decision is they have to wait because you're uncertain about what they're doing who they're involved with and how things are going to turn out because they caused you some type of disappointment there was some type of disappointment behind something that was said 
something that was harsh and mean. And with this two of um, pentacles, again, this person could have been juggling. Mm -hmm. Two of wands. We have three twos here. I definitely feel like a decision needs to be made pertaining to juggling. And here's the chariot in the reverse. So with this chariot in the reverse, until you make a decision to talk to this person or they uh, make a decision to talk to you, things are not going to be uh, moving forward. With this star card in the reverse, I feel like someone is losing hope. I feel like someone is losing hope in this situation because things are um, not, if it, it's like not moving at this time. I'm surprised the hangman didn't come out. Why is the star card here in the reverse? Yeah, see, you and this person, you're not really talking at this time. There's no movement. Little to no movement at all. And it's because this person said something or this this person said something to you hopeful losing hope this okay so someone may be getting attention from other people as well yeah sneaking off at night doing something at night sneaking off at night someone could have a black or a white or gray car yeah person is sneaking off at night being deceptive so that's why you're holding back what's the outcome mm -hmm. being manipulative overindulging in things having addictions third parties what's the outcome what's the outcome for the sign of cancer in their person and i don't know why i'm hearing like you didn't know any of this was going on this is something that's going on behind your back that you don't know about. So now, <clears throat> after this person was being manipulative or, or being toxic, I'll say, they wanna come back in towards you quickly. Now this person wants to come back in to um, have a conversation with you because you pulled your energy back from them. Yeah, King of Wands. Why is this King of Wands here? Yeah, this person is coming back in. So, um, they want to have a conversation. I feel like with that, um, or either you're going to take action to have a, this conversation with this person because you, you do love them. And although you're hurt, you, you want to, um, have a conversation with them, but it's not the right time. You want to make them wait. So apply the energy as it fits to your story. Either they want you to move in quickly to conversate, or you want them to move towards you for this conversation. That's what, but what, whichever side of the fence you're on, someone is going to be waiting for this conversation to take place. All right. So what other messages do you have for the sign? Okay, the lovers. So someone, again, your person may have, may have had a lover. Someone on the side. Yeah, could have been someone that they were working with. Someone that they are working with. Someone is, could, he, this person could have been dealing with someone they work with. Someone maybe they go to school with. There's some type of institution here where your person met this other person. They have something to do with work or school. And I feel like with Messenger, you could have saw a message in their cell phone or something like that. And that is what led to this, um, this, this whole situation. Because there were too many people involved and then your person, I feel like, said something that hurts her feelings. Okay. One of these cards is not facing the right way. 
Here it is. So I am going to take this one out. What is this? Cupid's arrow. So Spirit is saying, have faith. Love is coming. So I, I, again, I feel like right now is not the right time. Mm hmm Keep. Um, don't focus on what happened, but keep, uh, um, a wa keep watching the person, but don't let them know that you're watching. I feel like whatever they did, they created an unstable environment, and now you two are mirroring each other's energy. You pull back, so they pull back. reflecting on a relationship in the distance or in the separation but wanting to move forward towards love and make up but there's still heartbreak here so i'm going to leave it at that cancers this is your reading for um the fourth week in july comment below let me know if this is your story share like subscribe hit the notification bell be safe I'm sending love, light, peace, and healing energy. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your week, and I will see you next time. Bye.